gosh, idiots! They're all idiots. I have a master's degree from Princeton University, for goodness sakes. I've had how I ended up teaching at Bergen County Community College, I will never know. Uh, please, let's not make a scene. I wouldn't mind if they were just ignorant with a willingness to learn. I don't penalize ignorance when it's drenched with the desire for knowledge, but it's their smarmy, entitled attitudes and their lackluster performance that really pisses me off. They, they care more about their stupid Facebook status updates than understanding the universe. Do you think I became an astrophysicist to coddle these little assholes? Hi, Sarah. Can I help you? Yeah, you can get me out of this cruel joke life is playing on me. Excuse me? <sighs> Never mind. My brother, who leeches off me like the blood-sucking parasite that he is, needs a haircut. And since his unemployment check ran out, guess who has to pay for it? I'll get Riley. Yeah, what do you want? I would like a man who enjoys the extraordinary bliss that is cosmically created when two people create the perfect circle of mind, body, and spirit. Oh, and the bum behind me needs a haircut. Ew. I'm not touching that hair. Hey, man, you come from a shelter or something? In a manner of speaking, yes. Because a guy that would rip off my doll's heads and throw them in the oven when I was five now needs me to wipe his ass for him. So his shelter of his sister feeds him and gives him a shower and a bed. Not that he uses the shower much. I also steal money from her purse. Only on Thursdays. Do you have any alcohol laying around? I could use a drink. Yeah, who doesn't? So anyway, I'm not touching you because, well, you're gross. Hey, yo, Buck! How are you, Sarah? I work under, under people who wouldn't even score a C minus on my exams. Where's the karmic justice in all of this, I ask you? <laughs> I, and they wink at me and smile their condescending smiles and while I keep my mouth shut. I wouldn't dare tell them that it is reprehensible for them to look down on me when I possess an intellect as big as their penises are small. What the hell did you just say? Sorry. Look, can I just get a trim? Don't mind her, she's having a bad day. Yeah, we get a lot of that in here. Okay, my man, I'll hook you up. Hello? I love to teach. I really do. I long to fill each student's cup with knowledge and push them farther than they ever dreamed they could go. But what do I get? Excuse me, is trigonometry math? And why are we learning math? Isn't astronomy about stars and shit? Idiots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's real interesting. That's real interesting. But I got an emergency call. I'll be right back. Sorry. It's urgent. Yo, man. That chick had them fat ass titties, son. God damn. Yo, ass was all up in the air. She was all on top of me and shit. Yo, listen, listen, dog. I was about to hit it, right? But I probably need like, like, like two jimmies for that chick, yo. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. I said, with true excitement, class, next week we're going to explore the phenomenon of the black hole. And you know what one moron said? Isn't that a porno? I actually think I saw that one. Yo, man, stop the nonsense. It don't matter how ugly a girl is when the lights are out. You feel me? This is what you do. Tell homegirl to come to your crib. Don't look at her when she come in. Don't, don't look at her. You feel me? Turn up all the lights and BAM! All of a sudden, homegirl look like Beyonce. You feel me? That's what I'm talking about. Everybody freeze! This is a sticker. Give me watches, wallets, and cell phones. I ain't playing around. Anybody do anything stupid and I smoke your ass. Hello, Kenzel. Hey, hold on. Is it my character? I got an audition for Law and Order. Next week, me. Is it my character, Struggle? Did you? No daddy at home. Mama, mama was a strong woman, so she raised him right. She taught him to do the right thing, you know? Went to school and all that. But this life, man. Oh. Life brought him back. Life brought him back to a life of crime. How's that? Good? No? No. You 
feel my characterization, babe? You feel the realness of my action persona? Go to this hair right now, the Academy Awards. And the one that goes to, Cancel Washing Nuts. No, you don't feel it? Tell me you felt it. I felt the damn food. I'm hungry. You're three minutes late. Are you getting me lunch? So, what do you want? A trip to Bermuda, a massage, shopping spree at Prada, a Porsche. Oh, lunch. Something good. And it sure as hell better not be from the dollar menu. Can you feel that? I need to go shopping, and all my cars are maxed out. So get ready. Uh, babe, I haven't booked an acting gig in like a month, so like- I don't care. I'm tired of a boyfriend that can't do nothing nice for me. On our anniversary, where do we go? Wendy's. On my birthday, where do we go? Wendy's. Look at me. Look at me. I'm hot as hell. I could get any guy that I want. I could find a homeless man to treat me better than you. I need a new job. Maybe an assassin. I'd make a great hit woman. You know, babe, as soon as I can zell become famous, I'm gonna buy you the word. Oh, sure. Damn, I need a new man. I'll take the next guy that walks through the door. Maybe the one after him. Hey, sorry about that. It's a family emergency. Fuck, you are the worst hairdresser I have ever known. Don't you care about your clients? No, not really. This place sucks, to be honest with you. You think I want to be touching these nasty-ass heads all day and night? Gross-ass dandruff, dried-out weaves and shit? Nah. And make it so worse, I can't even talk to none of these bitches in here because all anyone ever do is gossip. Gossip. Fucking gossip. And if I did talk to anyone in here, everybody would know. Like I said, this place sucks. But I'm like on parole and shit, so it's the only place that will hire me. Great, we both hate our jobs. Can you please finish with them so we could leave? Now? Oh, I don't think so. I'm about to go on my break. You can leave a tip if you want to. Can I help you? Yes, you can, honey. I'm Jimmy, and I'm here to make all your dreams come true. I'm offering what everybody needs during these hard economic times. Sex. So would you be interested in any sex today? I do it all, from hips to lips, from feet to seat. Excuse me, you're selling what? Sex. I'm selling sex. With who? Me. I'd do just about anything for the right price. I've sort of been saving up for the next Comic-Con. You see, William Shatner is offering a special dinner where Trekkies can get a photo, an autograph, and watch him eat prime rib. Only $4,000. Pretty sweet, right? No. Uh, follow me. Hey there, good looking. Yeah. Would you be interested in any of my sexual services? Ew! Maybe if you pay me, but you would have to pay me a lot. Hey man, you trying to pay my girlfriend for sex? What? What? Hey, wait a minute, man. How much you paying because I need new headshots? Ladies, can I have your attention, please? I'm a prostitute. Anyone in here looking for sex? I'm cheap. $40 an hour. But today only, I got a special going. $20 an hour. Anyone? Buy one, get one free? Get another job, brother. <laughs> Trust me. People paying you for sex? You think you're funny? Funny, huh? I got a joke for you. Guy sitting in a doctor's office. Doc says, I got some good news, I got some bad news. Well, what's the bad news, the guy asks. Bad news is, unfortunately, you only have three weeks to live. Oh my God, so what's the good news? The good news is, you see the secretary sitting at the front desk? I'm screwing her. Get it? Get it? Okay, for the next half hour, five dollars. The most average sex of your life for only five bucks. Anyone? Anyone? 